impressed with Chase Clemens. First game back in a long, long time. I thought he might have been the best passer here this afternoon. To me, he was. Like you said, I compared him to Sharif Cooper, which is giving him a lot of credit. But he, he made some plays that let you know that he's a floor general. He's a leader, got a high IQ. He made a great pocket pass in the first half. And his behind-the-back pass, to me, was still the single greatest highlight player of the game. He really reads pick and rolls well. But even better, he delivers the dime. Whether it's the roll or the kick out three. It's Clemens with the steal. And the oh, nice dime. Pinpoint dime. Nice pass. Welcome back, young fella. Welcome back. If we get a chance to see that whole thing again, full of shooter. Fuller gets a deflection. Watch Clemens now. He picks it up. He's got his head up, and that behind the back pass was just absolutely gorgeous. Back to Fuller. So he gets rewarded on the other end. That was the play of the game. Yeah, it was. That was the SUV TV play of the game. From the man himself. He's back in 14 blue. Clemens to Howard. And one. Clemens delivers. You want to play with Chase Clemens. At a young age, he comes off a ball screen. He knows where his man is. Look at that. He reads the help, and he puts the ball right into the hands of Howard a for the very finish. very catchable pass. Very catchable. He passes away from the defense, mm -hmm. not so much to the man he's trying to look for. And the great passes do that. Very impressive. This is his first live competitive action in over a year. Three. He's making a tremendous first impression on me, but he, he's playing like he played in the 90s. Mid-range assassin. Chase Clemens, he's here to assist. Gets it to Ja'Kai Howard for another dunk. It was more of a heat check by Zion Walker. His first three shots, he, he, they came in a flow. This time yeah. he said, you know what, let me try to get mine. Shot quality wasn't the best, but 